Hi, my name's Carol. Welcome to Hummingbird Spot. This is the first in the series of videos that covers my first trip to Ecuador. And if you haven't seen my previous videos, you can click there. I was really excited about this trip because I was going with Sherry L. Williamson and Tom Wood, both ornithologists with the Southeastern Arizona Bird Observatory. Sherry is the author of the Peterson Guide to Hummingbirds of North America. So I knew that I was going to learn a lot more about hummingbirds on this trip. This time I was off to Quito. My flight got in really late, but I was met at the airport by Javier Munoz, who's the head of Nablina Forest Birding Tours. And he whisked me off to the Puembo Birding Lodge, our first stop. The Puebla Birding Lodge is run by a powerhouse of a woman named Mercedes Rivadiniera. Not only has she been an avid conservationist for 30 years, but she operates the lodge, she runs a dog rescue, and she has this habitat to help the endemic Andean marsupial tree frog and it's just amazing. A lot of the female frogs in the little habitat are pregnant and she's really helping bring this endangered endemic frog back. Mercedes' cousin Jose owns the property right across the street. There's also some lodging there and that's where Sherry and Tom were staying. So I got up early in the morning, went there, we had breakfast, and then we spent the day filming there on that property. The Western Emerald was a new species for me that I was able to photograph here at the Puembo Birding Lodge. A Western Emerald is really an easy bird to spot because no matter how brilliant the foliage is around him, he still stands out like a green neon light. This one is found in Colombia and Ecuador. You know, they, they look a lot like the blue-tailed emerald that we just saw in Peru, but the ranges of these birds don't overlap, so there's no chance of confusing them. The black-tailed train bearer was here too. I was really happy to see this one again because he's such a beautiful bird. We had just seen our first one in Peru at Ollantaytambo, because this one has a much bigger range than the Western Emerald. And check this out. This guy is certainly not bothered by a few bees. There's room for everyone at that tiny little hole. And of course, the sparkling violet ear, our old friend was here too, chasing away all the other hummingbirds I was trying to photograph. The next morning, it was up early and off to the Anacocha Reserve. The Yanacocha Reserve is an area of about two square miles that's managed by the Ornithological Corporation of Ecuador. This land was set aside primarily to protect the breeding grounds of the black-breasted puffleg. This is a hummingbird that is endangered and it was nearly driven to extinction when this land was managed by the Quito Water Authority. So, this land is very, very important to this hummingbird, and this hummingbird was my number one target. As we were hiking up, we were looking for it, but sadly, we never did find it. So I'm already planning another trip to this area to try to get this bird, but I was excited to see two new species. The first bird I got to photograph that was new for me was the shining sunbeam. This bird is a rather nondescript, goldish brown. Uh, he has these little feathers up front on his throat that'll stick out when he's mad. But the shining sunbeam, the beauty of it is on its back. When the sunbeam displays, it turns its back to you and has these beautiful rainbow colors down the back in his rump. The female looks like the male, except she doesn't have all the glitter on the back. So when you want to photograph this bird, you want his back to you. Now the other bird that was new for me was the buff-winged star frontlet. Now this bird 
is mostly green. The male has a bluish purplish spot on its throat. I did get a picture of a juvenile male with a couple of the feathers starting to grow in on the throat. But the other couple pictures I got were of females. The female has a buffy patch on the throat. I'll likely run into this bird again because it's found all through Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru because I would like to get a full plumage male, but we'll see. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because next Sunday we're headed to the Sachatamiya Lodge. See you next Sunday.